Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how we can install Jupyter Notebook without using Anaconda. So if you want to install Jupyter Notebook using Anaconda, then you can find the another video on the channel and the link of that video you would find in the description below. So you can refer that video and install the Jupyter Notebook using Anaconda. So to install Jupyter Notebook, first we will create a virtual environment because we work on multiple projects and each project requires different dependencies and tools. So it's a, a good practice to keep a separate environment for each of the project. So I will create a separate environment for this and to create the environment, the Python should be installed in your machine. So if you have not installed Python yet, then you can refer another video, which I have already created on this channel and for that video also, you would find the link in the description below. And to check whether the Python is installed in your system or not, you can use this command python3 space hyphen hyphen version. So if you get something like this in the output, so it means the Python is installed. So let's now create the virtual environment and I would go inside the directory in which I want to create the environment. So I would create the environment inside the downloads folder. So if I go to this, then to create the environment, I will say python3 space minus m, then v e n v and let's say we want to create the environment with the name jupyter underscore env. So I will type that name here, jupyter underscore env. And I will hit enter now. So if I show you in the downloads folder, so this project, this folder is created just now. And inside this folder, you would see these folders and file are present. Now we will activate this particular environment. And for that, we will source one file, which is present inside this bin directory, which is this activate file. So we will source this. So I will say source Jupyter env then bin and activate and I will hit enter. So you would see Jupyter underscore env within brackets here. So it means the virtual environment is activated and the name of that activated environment is this Jupyter underscore env. Now to install the Jupyter notebook, we would use pip here. So I will say pip install and Jupyter. Here instead of pip, you can use pip3 as well. So that also would work fine. So I will hit enter now. So it is installing the Jupyter notebook. It might take couple of seconds. So now the installation is finished. Let me clear the terminal once. Now we will launch the Jupyter notebook and uh, I would suggest you here to go inside the environment folder first instead of this downloads. Otherwise all the IPY NB file, all the notebook files will be created in this folder instead of this Jupyter ENV. So I will go inside the Jupyter ENV here and here I would launch the Jupyter server. So I would say Jupyter and notebook. So it is getting launched. So as you can see, this is launched in a new tab in my default browser. So uh, here you can see the directory structure inside, which is inside the Jupyter underscore env folder. And if you want to code here, then you would have to create one new notebook. So for that, you can see this new button here and here you would find this python3 ipy kernel. So I will click on this and now this new tab will be opened with this new notebook. Now here I can write any command. Let's say I write this hello world and I can run this command. So as you can see it has run successfully. Now we can save this file and we can rename this file first. 
so let's name this my notebook so i will set a name and we can save this file as well so i will say save notebook now there is one more thing if i go back to this base uh, this tree url so you would see this green icon here so it means the particular notebook is active even if i close this particular tab then also that would be active if i refresh this so that green icon will be there to deactivate this or to close this terminal i would have to select this and if i right click and i would say this shutdown kernel only then this will be closed so now if i refresh this so you would not see this particular green icon here if you want to reopen that particular terminal then you would have to again right click and you would say open so this will open up and because we have saved this that's why the older code we can see here now again let me close this or shut down this shut down kernel and now the server is still running so to stop the server i will go to the terminal again and here i will press the control c once i press the control c then it will ask shut down this jupiter server i will press y and hit enter so as you can see it has shut down shutting down five extensions so the server is shut down now so if i go to browser again and if i refresh this so you would find this site can't be reached so it means the server is stopped now so that's all for this video still if you face any issue or if you have any sort of doubt then let me know through comment section and do not forget to subscribe the channel and as always keep learning keep supporting see you in the another video